Okay, so we just had some uh, some bad news um, as far as ESL One Mumbai is concerned. Uh, five teams have had to drop out, um, which is pretty extraordinary when you think about it. I can't remember the last time I saw an announcement where five teams had to pull out, but there are some legitimate reasons, and you're probably thinking, well, that that really does ruin ESL One Mumbai, and that couldn't be further from the truth, actually, and I'll tell you why towards the end of this video. Now, first off, the five teams. Three of these teams have what I would consider to be pretty legitimate reasons for not attending ESL 1 Mumbai and having to pull out. And those three teams are NIP, Alliance and Gambit. Now, if you're a Dota follower, you'll know all about the DPC, the Miners and the Majors. If you don't, let me just explain something to you. If you get a chance to play in a Miner, you take it. Because if you play in a Miner, you get a chance to win that and then go off to the Major. And if you get to the Major, you get lots of points, lots of prize money and ultimately could end up qualifying for the International. So it's a really big deal when it comes to the Miners and the Majors. Now, unfortunately, one of those Miners, the next Miner, is partially scheduled at the same time as ESL 1 Mumbai. Now, that's a scheduling issue that we can debate at another time that shouldn't really happen and it shouldn't, but it does. But the reality is they're partially scheduled alongside each other, which means the teams that go to one can't go to the other. Now, if you prioritise one over the other, with all due respect to ESL 1, you would prioritise a DPC circuit event. And that's exactly what all those three teams have done. Because obviously they want to make sure they get to the international. So as frustrating as it is, and it really is frustrating that those three teams have had to pull out, totally understandable. The fact they've had to do it this late, you might argue, is wrong. However, again, nothing really they could do about it. If they'd all qualified for the major, so you can kind of blame them a little bit if you want, then they wouldn't be in this position. They'd just be able to go to ESL 1 Mumbai. The fact is they didn't qualify for the major, so their only shot of doing so is to be able to go to the minor, and they've qualified for that. So that's those three teams. Uh, the other two teams have slightly different reasons for not attending ESL 1 Mumbai. Firstly, Chaos Esports Club. Now, I have to tell you, I have a little soft spot in my heart for these guys. I love the players, love the team. And the people behind the team are also very, very good people indeed as well. And I mention this because there's a couple of rumours flying around about why they may have pulled out of ESL 1 Mumbai. Now, one of those rumours was that they didn't get invited to ESL 1 Birmingham, so they threw their toys out of the pram and decided to cancel their trip at the last moment, thus screwing over ESL 1. Now, I can tell you that's, that can't be further from the truth if it tried possible because they just aren't those kind of people. You're talking about having to have a very petty um, attitude towards not being invited to something, which, frankly, they didn't deserve to be invited anyway, and they know that. So, actually, that's complete bullshit. There is nothing to that rumour whatsoever. What is right, however, is that the team have announced that they... They want to practice more, they want to spend more time together, they want to spend some time away from the circuit, which also means they want to avoid burnout. And that's something I can totally empathise with them on. Could they have done it sooner? Yes, they could have done it sooner, could have let ESL 1 know sooner. And who knows, they may have done in the background anyway, it's just that the announcement came out today. So, that's Chaos Esports, not a great reason, but we understand why. Um, and I certainly fully empathise with the players that don't want to go. So, that leaves one team which is JSTOM. Now, JSTOM's position is a little bit different because, as I understand it, they double-booked themselves. Now, quite how that happens in 2019 to a professional esports team is beyond me, but apparently they are booked at one tournament, which is on the other side of the world, and they're booked at ESL 1 Mumbai. Now, obviously, they can't attend both, so they're going to have to let one down, and they've decided to let ESL 1 down. Now, again, I don't want to get into the politics of this. I don't know the answer to this, but if they accepted ESL 1 Mumbai's invitation first then seems wrong that they've then cancelled. But whatever, it may be for a number of different reasons, and I've yet to see a statement from Jay Storm at this point of the recording. So it might be that they have a legitimate reason, but for whatever reason, someone in that team, and I'm not talking about the players, I'm talking about the organisation, needs their backside smacking because they really shouldn't be double booking a professional esports team to two different teams halfway across the world at the same time. So having said all of that, you might be sat there thinking, well, hold on then, ESL 1 Mumbai is not going to be very good. But actually, you would be further from the truth than you can imagine because I think it's going to be very special. And not least of which, because if you ignore the players and the teams and the talent for a moment, imagine how starved Indian esports fans have been over the last 15 years of watching esports get bigger and bigger all around the world and never having something for themselves to watch in their home cities in India. And I remind you that you know they take up basically a sixth of the world's population in this country. There are a lot of people there, a lot of fans of esports and teams and players and talent alike. So 
I can't tell you the last time I had this many people message me on Twitter or social media saying how excited they were to see an international grade, world class broadcast head to their uh, town, city, uh, and country. And I think the last time for me was probably three years ago when I went to South Africa for the first time. It's the same kind of excitement that people are sending back to me. So that's number one. Number two, can't tell you how excited I personally am to be able to go to somewhere new. We don't get to go to new places very often anymore because we've been around for a while now in esports. So to be able to go somewhere new, super exciting. Oh, I saw some Action Slacks mentioning the same thing just the other day. So you can bet your bottom dollar we're all very excited to be able to attend this and bring you an amazing experience. Now, thirdly, I also want you to keep this in mind as well. The fact that we only have eight teams now means that the format's changed a little bit, but it means it's changed for the positive. Positive particularly for the Indian team that are involved. Now, we've had an Indian qualifier. They've qualified through the qualification system, got themselves legitimately into the tournament. But under the old scheme, where there were 12 teams, we would have lost four teams from the group stages, which means four teams would not have played on the main stage in front of the crowd inside the Dome in Mumbai. As it is now, however, all eight teams will qualify for the next rounds, which will mean every single team gets at least one match on stage in front of the crowd, including our hometown Indian team who will get to play in front of an Indian crowd at an international event in the Dome in Mumbai. That is going to be spectacular. I can't wait for you to share and see how crazy the Indian fans are and how wild they'll go for their own team to be playing as well. So that's fantastic. So lots of really good reasons why we should be excited. And we're only a couple of days away from heading out to Mumbai. I can't wait. Oh.